Hi there. Welcome to this Beyond Gravity, which we'll be playing today. We'll uh, get the right started, shall we? So, boom! It starts you off with a blast. Huh. Beyond Gravity! It's a simple arcade -ish title. Huh. I just completed a little quest where I needed to double jump. Huh. Because I jumped poorly. And so I needed to jump again in order to save my skin from falling into the abyss. Huh. So the goal is naturally get as far as you can, collect as many of these screws as you can. I don't really understand why screws specifically. But, uh, that's pretty much it. You have to get the right angle. If, oof, if any of you ever did math classes where, uh, Dang it! You had to like do the little hyperbole thingy. Boom! 400 screws. Claim reward. And collect 500 screws or cogs in one game. We can do that, right? Now we have a thousand, and our spaceship requires a lot more. So yeah. That's the increasing element of this little casual game. The more you collect, the more things you'll be able to do in Beyond Gravity. There's a very nice style. The drawn... Oh no, illustration, visual things. Like the quirky little planets. The soft, soothing music. It's a pretty friendly presentation. Whoop. You'll see there also once we hit a jump huh, that I have a certain amount of time to place my little jump. I don't know why you would it's either one or nothing so but it's mostly for when you get further oh no. And you encountered those fireballs that we saw. I'm just gonna try and speed forward so we can... There you go. Here it's important that you can't just hold on forever. You need to... You need to commit at some point. But if you don't... Let's see, we're gonna let it run all out. If you don't, you do still get so. It's pretty much just a... A fake out because actually you got all the time in the world. At first I thought these little guys on the planets hurt you if they came in contact with you. That's a little misleading. But they don't. They are just decoration. Oh. Why why was why would the Oh no. Luckily our double jump save us. Oh now we're going backwards as well. We are already 500 meters, 600 meters. It's gotta be a new achievement. Well, probably not. I don't know. But we are getting further ahead. There's a little post. I don't know what it means. We we're doing pretty well in Beyond Gravity. Incidentally, that's not why I play it. I'm just playing it because um, Steam sales, blah blah blah, cards, etc. You know, we've established that at this point. But incidentally, the game did um, come into the spotlight recently over Steam refunds because it was one of the games who were heavily affected by the refund policy. Um, the developer showed. A statistic where the majority of their game sales had been refunded that day. Uh, nope. Um, because it is sort of a short game. Ooh, that's a tough planet to get on. The size really doesn't matter there. And by short, I mean. Oh, dang it. 
By short, I mean like it's it's built on replay value, so you can play it ten minutes and you'll know what you're getting from Beyond Gravity. It's never gonna change. It's always gonna be this, except they're gonna throw other planets. They're gonna throw other hazards. Man, we. Oop. Got our stuff together. We're almost at a thousand meters. Kinda wanna make it. Boom! It's only a shame that, like, the whole. The, the spinning faster of planets, the timer on the jump and stuff is basically meaningless because you can do it as much as you'd like. You can't totally let the timer run out, so there's no pressure. There's just an illusion of pressure. The only thing you need to do. Oh no! Is jump correctly, which I didn't. But at least we collected our reward. Bam! Have a near miss encounter with a fireball. We did that too at some point. There was a little exclamation point that showed up. We are a far stretch from being getting more good in Beyond Gravity. So yeah, it does stretch out its um, upgrades into many, many different playthroughs, or some amazing playthroughs. Oof. Yikes. Sorry about that guy. Let's play some more. Okay, we can play like one more, and you'll understand where Beyond Gravity takes its inspiration from I'm guessing, like, the entire presentation also makes it out to look like a mobile title, so I'm guessing it was a mobile title prior to its Steam release. Huh. Since it has one touch controls, which is something that's very important there. There, we got a near encounter thingy. Oh no, I got hit now. That is unfortunate. Uh, maybe we'll just play the, the 10 games. Wait, dying is a... That's that's never a good objective, if you like. If the objective is always fail in some way. I always feel like it forces you to um, lose the game, which is... Why would, it, why would that be a thing that you need to be doing? I don't remember what other games had that, but yeah, it's definitely a mechanism that strikes me as odd, like setting yourself up for failure. Whee! So I shan't be doing that just yet. I'll have to do that at some point, I suppose. I think like the double jump mechanism here, because I've had some close calls. I think the double jump mechanism is um, easier to... for me at least to do um, right when I'm at the planet, so not to try and arc it twice, but right when I'm at the planet just leap, because I'll leap considerably to the right. And I seem to always undershoot it. I've rarely overshot it, so... Unless you're a person who always overshoots it, but I can pretty much tell if I'm going to overshoot it. Well, that was a close one. See, if I did that one where I originally was, I would have gone over. Whee! Huh. Boop. Boop. I wonder where we're at now with the whole Steam refund thing, because um, the developers did that. Oh no. Oh wow, lucky break. They um, send out that graph like two days later, I don't know, just like very early on. And of course, shoot. Of course, infancy problems, etc. 
Ooh, wow, yeah. Oh, so many things. Oh, so nice. One more game. There we go. And then we got ten games. Ooh. We went straight up. So yeah, if there's an update on that, I would be interested in knowing it. Who oh, knows? Oh my. Three sixty no scope. Whoop. I can understand why people would get sick of this in two hours, but that's a part of that whole Steam refund thing. But we addressed that. We addressed that issue. But that would be one of the parts where um, I kind of have issues with. I don't believe that like if a game gives you less than two hours of enjoyment, you should be able to refund it. I mean, at least in the case of this, I think this costs like two bucks. I don't know. I don't. I can't imagine it costs like five bucks or such. And I mean, for what it is, it's functional. It's got a good idea. It's easy to get into. It's a very nice presentation. Like I don't think, like even if I'm only going to play this in half an hour, I'll be done forever with it. That um, me paying for it is too much. That's still half hour well spent. And that's where, I mean, the, the refund policy is a bit lenient, in my opinion. I mean, again, I would like to stipulate, because everyone always thinks, like, if you have one comment on it, that it's immediately bad. I think the refund policy is great. I think it's going to help a lot of people. I just think that there are... That there's, like, any Valve thing that's been sent out, that there's a lot of fine-tuning to do before it'll actually be good. Look, just look at green light, for instance. It's still terrible in many respects, but it also brings me a ton of games that I now love, so... That, it's very comparable to that. Good, but needs help. In the meantime, I've... Whoop! been... oh no, oh no. Well, I made it to a thousand meters, but as soon as I made myself aware of it... But yay, claim reward! Land on a total of 200 plans, that will take a lot of games. But this one, a thousand things just for dying almost immediately. Still seems a bit off to me. Those are the very basic mobile like yeah we we saw that man it's it's weird that you would do it like that. Anyway, that's gonna be it for Beyond Gravity, a Steam game that gives you Steam trading cards, that's why I'm doing this. <sighs> Painkillers still hard to manage with all the things, but we're back, we're I'm trying man, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I hope that's good enough. And we'll see, we'll just see. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, and if you do, hit the button right now so that you don't forget. You only need to hit the button once and then never again, because then you are trapped in my domain. The domain of weird, random Steam games where I talk over. No good reason. Leave comments and suggestions, that's always appreciated. I like those, and they're always nice. Well, they're usually nice. <laughs> Please be nice. Please. Um, like share, do those things, anything you can do to help. I, I appreciate it greatly. Thank you very much. Goodbye.